You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner, Dr. Stephen Cabral, shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Today on our show, we're going to be talking about heavy metal detoxification and how you're being exposed to these heavy metals every single day in the environment. So this is not to scare you. This is not to say, oh, you need to be doing this right away. It's something that you need to start to think about. And so the reason why I even bring it up is that, as I said, you can't escape it. And I always go back to the really, it was the funny quotes. So I was like laughing out loud the first time I heard it. When I was in India, literally in the Himalayas, and I was with one of my um, Ayurvedic doctors who was one of my mentors over there. And we were literally, like I said, in the foothills of the Himalayas, there was literally a yogi living in the Himalayas. He had a tree house that he built, legitimate like tree house in the tree. And he was, I think he was just like near the river washing his face or something like that. And he said, look at that yogi over there. He said, even a yogi who lives in the Himalayas and is just walking around naked still is being exposed to harmful, toxic, chemicals that need to be detoxified. And in Ayurvedic medicine, they speak about it differently. They talk about it from what's called like a panchakama experience or a treatment. And that even 6,000 years ago, they were talking about this detoxification is what people are not doing right now, but it has always been talked about. It's the true fountain of youth. It honestly is. And this has to be taken seriously on essentially a daily basis because now 6,000 years ago, they didn't have the 100 thousand, they're saying about a hundred thousand right now, man made chemicals. So when I say a hundred thousand, think about how huge that number is. And that is new items. These are chemicals. These are known cancer causing carcinogens in our environment that have been made from plastics and all sorts of synthetics that our body, namely our liver, was never half created to detoxify, right? So when these things come into our body, our body has a very difficult time processing them because they're man-made. They're not natural. Our bodies were never equipped with specific processes to get rid of them. However, we can, meaning like we have this phase one and phase two liver detox. We are able to remove these from our body, but a lot of times as they accumulate, they become more toxic. So if we just had a little bit here and there, no big deal. But what happens is that this is an assault on our body every single day from the food that we eat, from the water that we drink from the vaccines that we're given and from the environment that we live in. We're just exposed to these heavy metals every single day. And namely, they're coming from aluminum. I'll name that how you're getting these things in your body, mercury, cadmium, and lead. And again, there are others, there's arsenic, but the, you know, this is one of the ma- these are the major four. We're going to talk about those right now. And the problem is they can lead to chronic fatigue, autoimmune issues, specifically and really seriously neurological based issues, uh, brain fog, depression, bipolar, anxiety. I've seen panic attacks, dementia. I've seen mercury and aluminum linked with Alzheimer's, insomnia, uh, really any mood-based issues, any energy issues, anything to do with your nervous system. And also our gut health, because all of these things really do matter as they're ingested into our gut. So let's talk about that You know, right now. It's like, where are you getting them from the environment? And then I'm going to give you really simple ways, predominantly using foods to be able to detox naturally on a daily basis. So let's talk about where you're getting aluminum right now on a daily basis. So I find aluminum to be the most pervasive and that's because I do hair tissue mineral analysis. So when I do a hair tissue mineral analysis, again, I send these all over the world. You literally just have hair snipped from the back of your head. You're looking at about the last three months of accumulated uh, minerals in your body. You're looking at how your body is doing from a digestive standpoint. You're looking at how it's doing from a stress and neurological standpoint. You're looking at it from an antioxidant standpoint, anti-cancer with selenium, from blood sugar with chromium. And then of course, you're looking at your heavy metals like mercury, lead, aluminum, 
cadmium. So from aluminum, I see that the highest out of all of them. And the reason is this, when you cook with aluminum foil, aluminum spatulas, aluminum pan, and then the non-stick pans are even different. There's even more. When you've gotten vaccines in your lifetime, these things can accumulate. There's aluminum in toothpaste. There's aluminum antiperspirants, especially that's a big one. A lot of people take in antacids, which are just terrible for you. And those have a lot of aluminum. Aluminum cans, uh, there's aluminum in all water, tap water specifically, or filtered water a lot of the times. Um, I already talked about the cookware. There's aluminum in dentures. There's aluminum in any type of dental work for the most part. There's aluminum in makeup. So anything like non-caking, non-stick, there's typically aluminum in them. So you can see how quickly these things can build up. And so it's super important that you make sure that you're getting the aluminum out of your system because aluminum literally is a neurotoxin. And it has been linked in many, many studies with Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So you have to be careful with that one. Now, mercury, mercury we're getting mainly from fish. We are getting it from vaccines as well. But mercury, a lot of the time, is just in some of the larger fish. I know a lot of people enjoy sushi. A lot of people enjoy fish. And the problem is a lot of people enjoy swordfish and tuna. And those two have a large amount of mercury in them because they're larger fish. They live longer. They're eating other smaller fish. They're accumulating mercury in their own body. And then we eat them. So shark, swordfish, tilefish, king mackerel, tuna, those are some ones that you really have to stay away from. Stick more to the smaller fish, the sardines, the wild salmon, the and anchovies, what else is on there? Cod, haddock, herring. If you can find a natural trout, great, not a farm trout. Uh, Same with tilapia. Those would be totally, totally fine. And then of course you can go with like shrimp and some of the smaller ones as well. Again, as long as it's natural, as long as it's wild. So lead, where are we getting lead from? Well, lead comes a lot of times from older base products when they use lead paint. So antiques, car-based you know, batteries, car parts, a lot, again, of paints in older homes. Pesticides oftentimes contain lead, a certain piping, like if you work with pipe or anything like that, a lot of them are still lead pipes, especially like digging, things like that. Cigarettes, believe it or not, contain lead. So again, a lot of those old ceramics or lamps, you know, people have those things that contains lead as well. And there's been shown over and over to still be lead in a lot of drinking water, which is not ideal. But again, these are coming through lead pipes. Those lead pipes are corroding under the ground. Brown, and that's coming directly into your water supply. Now, cadmium is one that I like to talk about as well because so few people know about this and how much, though, it affects your thyroid. If you have low thyroid issues, but you have cadmium toxicity, it's a really big thing in terms of autoimmune based issues and lowered thyroid. Cadmium is mainly coming from you know, the best way I like to look at it is contaminated foods, cigarettes. I like to look at it essentially really mainly from food. So processed foods often has cadmium added to it. And the issue is these things are honestly, these are toxic to your thyroid. So what I'd like to say to you today is be careful with all of the fried based foods, the breads, potato chips. A lot of those can have cadmium toxins in those specifically. So Now you know where those kind of big four come from. I want to let you know that honestly, there's a lot you can do and you can really make it happen faster than you would um, really think possible and mainly with food. So let's talk about that. So there's been a lot of studies just looking at two specific foods and usually I use them in in capsule or tablet form. So I'm not going to like deny that. It's just easier, right? You make sure you get it on a daily basis. Plus a lot of people love the taste of these two things, but I'm going to talk about now. And those two are cilantro and chlorella. Okay. So Typically, you don't even have to say crack cell chlorella anymore, but chlorella is an algae. You're getting it. These things have really great natural chelation-based abilities. That means they lock onto these heavy metals inside of your body, and they move them out of your body as long as you're not constipated, as long as your liver is doing a great job detoxifying. So I'm going to add some caveats to that in a moment. But the amazing thing I found is that, so there's some great, great studies that Within six weeks, just literally six weeks, if you're using on a daily basis, natural chlorella and cilantro, so cilantro has different names in different cultures, but it's this very small little leaf. And it's great when you add it to a juice, but you can honestly just put it on salads. So cilantro is one that is super simple. You can literally just put it in your mouth, chew it up, make sure you chew it up really well to get the um, most amount of nutrients out of it and make sure it's easily to digest. Or you can, yeah, again, like I said, you can juice it as well. You just need a fair amount. So both of these are, are things that I highly recommend. But after just six weeks of using just these two items, so just these two, again, there are many more you could use, 87% of the lead in your body, 
91% of the mercury and 74% of the aluminum was detoxified and removed from the body. Those are amazing statistics. Very, you won't see too many stats that impressive with a lot of other things. So the great news is this, is that everyone really needs to be doing this. If you don't have a, if, I mean, again, you can test your using a hair tissue mineral analysis. It's very inexpensive. You get my personal recommendations. You get a call with our health coach to explain things to you because you can't just run a lab. You need to know actually what it means. So we use the best lab literally in the world called Analytical Research Laboratory. You can find it on stephencabal.com forward slash store. If it's the right choice to you, great. If not, you can start to add in cilantro and this natural crack cell chlorella on a daily basis. So not only are they great, I, I can't go too much deep into the science, but not only are they great for removing these heavy metals, they're also antiviral. They boost your immune system. They help regulate cholesterol. They certainly give a massive boost to your liver's natural detoxification process to remove other things. In the FM detox, you'll actually see, so as part of the Dr. Wall detox, we actually have that crack cell chlorella right in there because we know how important that really is. But it's great for digestion. It, you know, It has chlorophyll for oxygenation. Amazing, amazing products. So besides those things, you know, if you wanted to do more, what else would you do? And then I'm going to wrap it up with my complete protocol that I give people because I actually work on heavy metal detoxification all the time in Boston. I get a lot of referrals from that from other doctors and dentists as well. But you're going to want to add more vitamin C to your body. And this is why. So you're taking your chlorella, you're taking your cilantro, but vitamin C is one of those things that's kind of like it makes everything else better. So it works where liver detoxification detoxification. It boosts the glutathione-based properties. You needed to also recycle vitamin E and other more powerful antioxidants. So, you know, truly, if you want to break up and remove some of those free radicals, make sure you're getting at least one to three grams of vitamin C per day during that detoxification. And again, four to six weeks, you know, you can even do it in three weeks. And I'll wrap that up in, in just a moment as well. I'd like you to be taking that, that chlorella, that cilantro that I talked about. I want you to be doing something for your liver. So I want, you know, a full support. I'd like a little bit of selenium in there. I'd like a little bit of milk thistle. Again, I'll give you an easier kind of systematic based product that you can use. And then after your detox is over, you can do it during, but I like it after is you're going to want to use a good quality probiotic. I like a minimum of 50 billion healthy probiotics per day. And so I typically do, I split it in two capsules, one in the morning when I wake up, one at night, but you can just do them both right in the morning when you do wake up on an empty stomach. That would work great. You can do it with your greens drink if you want. So one other thing that I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it is using an infrared sauna. An infrared sauna has been shown to pull heavy metals out of the body to help your body detoxify. You go in from anywhere from 25 minutes all the way up to 50 minutes. It's not as hot. It's about 140 degrees or so, so you can stay in longer. The infrared rays penetrate the skin and the body just like the sunlight would. So it doesn't heat the outside air as much. It heats the inside of the body. Again, like the sunlight helps produce more sulfur, helps get those heavy metals out of the body. Make sure you shower, at least towel off after that infrared sauna, get those metals off your skin. So another great way to do it, you can do it faster. And then after a really nice detox, like the one we just talked about, again, this detox is simple. Vitamin C, chlorella, cilantro, do a little bit something more for liver support. You can do that easily. 21 days up to six weeks. So three weeks to six weeks. So how can you speed up the process? You can do something like the Dr. Ball detox. So if you don't want to do the Dr. Ball detox, totally fine. You can choose your own. So that's your liver support. That's your intermittent fasting days. That's your autophagy all in one. It has your vitamin C. It has all that good stuff in there. You can always add more if you'd like. It has the chlorella. And then if you can add a little bit of self-massage or dry brushing, fantastic. And I, t- I spoke about that, I believe last Friday. So if don't, you know, check that out. That was episode 321. That was a really nice episode on detoxification. You can do those Epsom salt baths, the infrared sauna that I spoke about. That will really wrap it up. But then at the end of your, your protocol, call. Remember, you can't be constipated in doing this because you have to pull these things out of your body and a lot of it comes out through the stool. So we offer something called an intestinal cleanse. You can go to the store. It's not our product. Remember, I recommend the best of the best and I don't have a better intestinal cleanse, which is why I recommend someone else's. And that's just what it's all about. It's bringing you the very best of the best, no matter whose it is. And I'm I'm always happy to, to even make better suggestions if those come out in the future. I'm not tied to any one thing. I'm only tied to what is the best for you, what's clinically proven to work. And I know this works. So again, really simple. What I would do if it was me, and this is what I do. I get a lot of referrals from holistic dentists who do mercury amalgam removals. We do a natural vitamin C cilantro chlorella based process leading up to the actual surgery of the removals of those amalgams, minor surgery, of course, right? And then after that, the day of, we're trying to do a much larger dose of 
chlorella, cilantro. They're starting the Dr. Ball detox and they're doing infrared sauna for the next couple of days. And then after that, we're just doing the 21 day detox. That's all. And then we're doing an intestinal cleanse either halfway through or at the very end to just push everything out. And that's typically all people need. It doesn't have to be done for the rest of your life. And then just keep up with it. You know, you, you can add cilantro a couple times a week to your salads or to your meals. You can add in crack cell chlorella, you know, every six weeks or so, or every couple months to your protocol, just to kind of just work on that heavy metal detox. But this is a reality that we have to live with, right? So it's not something to be worried about. It's not something to be like frightened of, but you should have your levels checked ideally. And if not, just put yourself through one of these detoxes, one of these heavy metal detoxes specifically, and that will allow you to just kind of feel better, you know, feel like you're doing something to remove these things from your body. Because remember, no one's exempt from this. We're just not. This is a world we live in. It's polluted. It's toxic. Big companies put profits over people. They don't care. They really don't. It's really short-term thinking. They're destroying the world. They're polluting the world. There's nowhere in the world that isn't polluted. And we have to do our best to take care of our own health. Medical doctors don't know this because they're just not taught it in school. Like unless you come up really high on lead, which is what they typically test for, sometimes they test for mercury, nothing's going to be done for you. Like that's just the way it is. But you can have these subclinical levels where it's affecting your brain. It's creating free radical damage to your brain and nerves. And they're one and the same. And that's wearing you down. So if you're suffering and you're not feeling your best right now, whether it's energy-based, it's neurological, it's brain fog, it's anxiety, any of those things, I can't recommend it enough. So if you have any further questions on this, because it is kind of like a big topic, feel free to write into me. I want to help you. I want to answer your questions. Just go to stephencabral.com forward slash askcabral. Ask me anything. It can be anonymous. I'm happy to answer it on our weekend host calls. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Hopefully this was helpful. And if it was, please feel free to share it with someone else you believe if it could help. Before you go, I wanted to ask you this question. What if I could teach you in just a couple of hours how to transform your thyroid, hormones, adrenal, cholesterol, blood pressure, blood sugar, weight loss, energy, mood, brain, pregnancy, anti-aging, or many other health-related issues? After 20 years in private practice, after seeing and overseeing a quarter of a million client appointments, I sincerely feel I have the real-world data and have found the answer you've been searching for. So what I've done is spent hundreds of hours of my own time refining what you need to know in order to uncover your underlying root cause health issues and then begin to rebalance the body and bring it back to a state of robust health and wellness. I'm gonna teach you exactly what I do in my private practice so you can understand how you got here and now what you need to do in order to heal. You'll receive all of the important success checklists, protocols, and even ways to customize it to make the program fit your busy life. And you'll get all of this at a fraction of the price. Let me save you the time, money, energy, stress, and frustration of not knowing what to do next. Instead of reading dozens of books on the topic and seeing multiple practitioners, I will condense everything that you need to know in just a few hours of video tutorials that you can watch and listen to anywhere. Together, we will make this healing process an enjoyable one that you can take with you for the rest of your life. I wish you all of the best of health and happiness, and I hope to be able to guide you on your healing journey through my Health Results Accelerators. Simply choose the health imbalance you're currently suffering from, and by the end of today, you'll know what went wrong and how to get well again. I guarantee it. For details, head over now to stephencabral.com forward slash courses.